will show you how to use the Sculpt Toolkit in Dental System. The Sculpt Toolkit is a set of powerful tools which appears in the Anatomy Design step to enable you to transform and shape your restoration. The Toolkit is similar for all kinds of restorations. It consists of the following tools. The Global Transformations tool that can be used for multiple teeth restoration and allows you to move, scale and rotate all teeth in a restoration. To move your restoration, click on any point of the tooth and drag it sideways. Drag the green points to change the shape of a whole restoration by moving it sideways, back and forth or up and down, depending on the view. Holding down control and mouse switches the scaling mode from one direction to proportional. Depending on the view, tilt and rotate the teeth by clicking and dragging one of the red points. The adjacent arrows illustrate the direction of the orientation. The Arc Transformation tool lets you move a restoration composed of more than one tooth into an optimum position. Hover the mouse cursor over a tooth in the multiple restoration and adjust its position while keeping the left mouse button pressed. You can adjust the number of teeth the transformation affects indicated with the blue circle. The size of the circle can be changed by using a slider or by rotating the mouse wheel while the control key is pressed. If you want to scale or rotate a single tooth, hover the cursor over the selected tooth and its control point, then use the mouse wheel. Double click on a control point to change the mode. The individual transformation tool can be used both for a single restoration and a single tooth in a multiple teeth restoration. This tool allows you to move the design, scale and rotate it using points on the design. The view of all points changes depending on the view direction. Right click on a tooth to display the options that allow you to move the design to mesial or distal contact and into contact with the antagonist. Individual morphing. By using this you can move points on the tooth in the desired direction. The net around the cursor shows the direction the morphing is applied and a green circle shows the affected area. Hover over the point, hold shift and scroll the mouse wheel to change the radius of the affected area or use a slider in the design tools window. Points are divided into different color groups and you can drag them separately or hold down shift to move the entire control point group. Change the radius around the entire group by holding shift and scrolling the mouse wheel. Hold control and move your mouse up and down to move the chosen point along one line. Hold Alt and left click to add or remove control points. Use the wax knife tool to add and remove material to and from the design and to smooth its surface. Choose one of the three options and click on the design to apply the operation. Select the radius and level of the influence of the wax knife by using the two slide bars. Alternatively, use Shift plus the mouse wheel to change the radius and Control plus the mouse wheel to change the level. The wax knife also has the threshold button that limits adding and removing material to the value set with the sliding bar. Threshold can be measured from the preparation scan to adjust the tightness of the contact point. Antagonist scan to get a light or tight occlusion. Dye interface or neighboring teeth undercut to get a broad contact. For example, you can adjust contact points by removing material. Choose the preparation scan button, set the value and adjust the design. Material will be removed only to the chosen value. You can set that value as the default for one of the buttons. Click the record button and the button under which you wish to keep these settings. The attachment tool allows you to place an attachment on the restoration for any indication. In the attachment settings, you can select the group of an attachment and its type, as well as set the default orientation. For example, the insertion direction or the view direction. The chosen attachment can be set in the desired place and modified by using the spheres. To add attachments one by one, just mark the checkbox. Then you can add a new attachment just by clicking on the restoration. You can also select the cut by gingiva option to have it cut to the gingiva.
The plane cut tool allows you to cut your restoration with a plane. You can move and adjust the plane by using the spheres. The smoothing parameter lets you adjust the amount of smoothing of the cut edges with the slide. In case of two neighbouring teeth being modelled, you can check the Cut Between Teeth checkbox and define the width of the cut in the space field. Contacts and Smoothing allows you to smooth the entire surface of a restoration. Set the level of occlusal attrition, as well as set and enforce minimum thickness. The distance to the antagonist, the precise cut to the antagonist, and the distance to neighbours. After setting all the necessary parameters in the box, press the Apply button to have it done for a selected tooth, or Apply to All to have it done for all design teeth. The Auto Placement tool allows you to set the distance to the antagonist or to the neighbours. Just fill in the value of the desired distance and click the Apply button. Please note that this option is not applicable for a bridge. Mirror Tool. To learn more about the Mirror Tool, please watch our Three Shape Trios Design Studio Copy Tool Options. The icon and the principles of work of that tool are the same in both versions of the software. The connection to the margin line tools allow you to connect the designed anatomy to the margin line. and disconnect it if needed. While connecting to the margin line, you have the possibility to adjust the connection settings. The simple connection checkbox allows you to connect the design to the margin line without applying extra smoothing to the anatomy near the margin line, keeping the design unchanged. Virtual Articulator. If you want to learn more about our virtual articulator, watch the Three-Shape Dental System Dynamic Virtual Articulator video, as well as the Three-Shape Dental System Adjustable Incisal Table video. The Reset Design tool allows you to reset the model restoration to the default. Just select the desired tooth and click Apply. Using the Apply to All button, you can reset the design on all teeth. You have now learned about the design tools in Dental System. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.